Okay, everybody, here we are again. 1962 Cadillac right here. It's up on jack stands today because we're doing the rear end. Okay. Some nifty things we found about it today, too, right? Yeah. Okay, first of all, the bearings pressed in the wrong way, right? Yeah, both of them. It's surprising that it's not leaking. You fixed the one before, but now you pulled the other one and you found out that the grease seal now is on the wrong side. Yeah, and the bearings in backwards, that's the correct one. Yeah, the correct one's here, and this is incorrect. Yeah, not to mention that it is rough when you turn it. Rough? Oh yeah, okay, that's always a nice feeling. Yeah, so we've got that out, we're going to have to change the wheel bearing, axle bearing, and we've got the pumpkin out of the rear end here. As you can see, Cadillac actually mark the rear end with their own crest and uh, script. Right, okay, I see that. This, is a, nice. uh, this is a 14 bolt rear end. I think the uh, ring gear is about a 9 inch diameter. Um, it's a 321 to 1 ratio. Alright, where do you feel the play in this thing? Well, that, that's what we're trying to figure out right now. If I hold the pinion steady, I can rock this back and forth. Now, whether or not it's this way or it's side to side. I don't know. <laughs> I, I you know I, I don't know enough about rear ends to determine. Okay, here's the rear end, and we cannot find the uh, Cadillac part on it that says Cadillac, but it does say Cadillac somewhere in here, right? Yeah, I'll find it. You'll find it. Okay, good. Ah, oh, there it comes. Okay, we'd have to do this though. I think. And there's the Cadillac, and it has the Cadillac crest, and then it has the ratio there. Very nice. Okay, now, because this guy put the freaking bearing on backwards. Yes. Backwards, upside down, or whatever, because it was the same situation this one. Yeah. And now we have to do it to this one. That's the way it's supposed to be. Oh, this is the bad one. Sorry yeah, about that. One. How much pressure, mechanic Mike, did we have to apply to get that freaking thing off of there. Oh, it was like seven tons or something. Yeah, we had a 20, 20 ton, ton press. press. And I seen the gauge go. <laughs> yeah, so it was a bit iffy, you know what I mean? Like it was a bit uh, scary there a little bit. It's but a little tight. A little tight to say the, say, the, say the least, but this is on backwards. You could see the uh, grease seal. They thought the grease seal was on the outside. And then not to and mention it, this. <laughs> What's that? The O-ring is so stretched. Oh, because it's not in the groove or anything, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's amazing it wasn't leaking. Oh, boy. And it, it's rough. Can you hear it? I don't know. You got outside the uh, ambient noise of the parkway. Yes. Okay, what we're going to do now is uh, figure out what we're going to do. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, what are we going to do? Well, I don't know. I guess we're going to you know, listen to more music and wait. All right, we'll just sit around with our fingers. How old do you think that is? 1939. It goes back to like 37, this rear. Really? Yeah. The design of it, anyways. The well, backlash, it's a little, it's about 15,000. That's acceptable. Okay. Yeah, look inside. It's on. Find any metal in there? Okay. What happy, do you think, Jay? Happy differentials. What do you What do you think of the diff? I love it, man. Yeah. I'm a 1930s kind of guy. You like the 1930s yeah, antique. diff? Antique. Yeah, it's a nice touch. Right. Okay. The Cadillac. Yeah. 1937. So that's what 19, they call a holdover. Uh, uh, it was so trouble free. They said, "Why mess with it? Because that would cost money." Let's throw more chrome on the car. That's what we need. Right, and they certainly did. That's right. Let's barge it out. Let's chrome it out. Right. Yeah. What did that uh, famous racing driver say? If it don't go, chrome it. That's right. There you go. 1937 rear, huh? The 1962 yeah. car, oh, eh? Wow, that's something. Yeah, or what a maybe, concept. maybe it's a... Uh, 1962 rear. <laughs> yeah, that's Nobody it. else is going to talk to this guy. So well, what happened here, Jay? We just uh, need... It was required more force than we anticipated. How many tons this time for this well, side? Eight, nine. Nine, nine tons. 
That's the record. Before it was only four, right? I know. The other one was relatively easy. Then we were thinking maybe we weren't setting up right. Axles, this uh, this has uh, inner race on the bearing, so you don't, don't really have to worry about that unless you're a total knucklehead. Right. However, you see the uh, the shiny spot on the axle shaft with the splines? Yeah, we see that. That rides in that uh, little tube in the housing. And there's actually a little seal in there to keep the fluid from migrating out onto the axle. Right. Oh, did you see that in the... the Stuff I gave you or? No, I saw it in the uh, differential in your garage that I looked at. Oh, you actually saw it? Yeah, there's little tiny seals in there. That's so the, the uh, oil doesn't migrate down the uh, axle shaft as much. So what do you what do you think of the antique uh, Cadillac? I think for 1936 was an outstanding design, but to keep it till 1962 or three is a little ridiculous. 64. Maybe, maybe even 64. 66. And maybe he's maybe 66. And I guess if you bought an export caddy in 1969, it probably had the same rear. Use up that old parts. Not to mention the X frame. There you go, the X frame, mystery frame. Safety. The safety. Safety frame. last. Is that what it was? A safety yeah, frame? Well, you know what they yeah, did, safety. though? They put a piece of wood inside of it to make it stronger. <laughs> <laughs> they pressed in some two by well oiled two by fours. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah. So, how'd it go over here, bud? Windshields out of any cars. That's why we backed the car up. Through. Well, we're uh, trying to demangle this. Uh, we may have mangled it more again. Uh oh. I'm not even. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. Oh, I would just work on this a little bit. See this? That edge there? Yeah, if you can, a little. See how it is? A little mushy. Yeah. That's all. Just, just touch well, that. I don't know about the press. I mean, you I want to try maybe right. just a... Going together is cake. It's coming apart. You need a special adapter. That's, special that's like a special J tool. We could make that. You have to get a piece of sheet metal. Like, you have to get a feel, eighth inch feeler gauge, right? And try and put it in there. Right. And and then make a U. Right. Next time. But, you know, right now Let's you need the car. Let's hope there's no next time. This is it. Yeah. So I guess now it's straighten this a little more. Well, if the rear is uh, going to give you trouble later, right? Yeah, but we don't have to do a wheel bearing. Oh, here, this one's a little high. See it? Just comes up a little bit. A little bit? Right, just pound that down a little bit. And then clean it up good. And I think we're good to go. Oh, yeah, okay. I mean, right, if that right bearing there. is in or out of a, a 32nd of an inch, it's not going to matter because you got that inner ring there anyway, so it's really holding it. Right, well, this isn't going to... Yeah, this is going to conform probably to the axle tube. Exactly. It right. holds the uh, axle. Axle retain. bearing retaining plate. Yeah, and it's got a radio anti-static. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Suppressor snap. Suppressor inside there. Yeah, yeah. Right. I guess they're anticipating something that may happen, which probably never will. Well, they were very fanatical radios. So. Yeah, that's true. Oh, the radios. <laughs> yeah, yeah, suppression was their name. Yeah. Then in the in the eighties they used to put a ground strap from the air cleaner to the hood. Uh, yeah, Ed Cole in those days, he was a big radio. Ed Cole, well. he's probably the professional uh Well all right. we're going back in. Axle shaft. This goes back here right. before you forget. Yeah, but clean the shaft, no? Oh yeah, 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 yeah that's right. It's got dust, dirt, rust, it's disgusting. Yeah, yeah. I can let you put that in my clean press. <laughs> yeah, you're clean. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's really ugly. Clean that up. Might be some stock bearing first and then the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. O ring towards the inside. You like sure? It should be. You sure? Yeah. I, I thought it was toward the outside. Yeah? Alright, well, check the book, please. The oil, the seal phase is in. Okay. And then we put the ring on as well when we press it in, right? No, it's later. Later. Right. So bearing goes seat first. The bearing. Right. Seat the bearing. Yeah. Here's a picture here. Let's look. Shows the uh, exposed uh, ball bearings on the inside. That's what you got, right? No, we don't have exposed ball bearings here, but... Uh, I guess we got to go down. Oh, let's see. What a figure. Oh, yeah. Here's a, here's a picture. The famous picture here. shows the wheel bearings. Yeah, it shows the O-ring... Uh, all ring goes towards the inside. Wouldn't make sense to have it closer to the outside, be more susceptible to leaking. Oh, this ought to be a cake thing, huh? Look at that. You got the V thing there, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah.
Now did we put... No. This just went right in there. You think it would be okay? How does this look, Jay? Seal's there, right? No, no seal's on the, in on the inside. Okay, so what's lubricating the bearing? Since it's it's not sealed. In there? Yeah? It's a sealed bearing. Yeah? Yeah. There's grease in there? It's a sealed bearing. Okay. I thought, it, I thought this was on the outside. No. Okay. I just want you to look, before you do that, just look at the picture. Here. Sure. That's flush down there? Right. Okay. Because we don't want to push on the outer race. That's the thing. We want to get the inside. Well, this is in as far as you can go. Okay. All right. Go easy. Now, um, how far up did he go is the question. Well, it hits the it, shoulder. Oh, it hits the shoulder. That's right. Right. So you can only go. Right. Just go nice and slow. Yeah. I can't get in there. Uh -huh. Somebody can pump and all. Yeah. I pump for you. It's still going. It's splitting this apartment. Getting there. I think that's about it. That's it. Okay. As long as you're happy. I think not, that's a it. not a safety ring. <clears throat> so what you're saying is the replacement bearing is a different design mm -hmm. than the original. Is that the deal? Yeah. Uh, that's why they do that. It changes things from here to the thing. Okay, the uh, ring is here. <clears throat> was not. Uh, that was my question. Give it the finishing touch. I didn't mean to bad mouth your bearing, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's a RC bearing, special RC bearing. Well, that's good too because then we don't have to worry about the bottom anything out. Right? Yeah. Right. It's like a safety advantage thing. there that's it three tons three tons should be sufficient to hold it together onward and upward there you go upwardly mobile now the hard part putting all the stuff back exactly the way it was right yeah okay you're uh, not uh, mm. Huh? Uh, uh. Crooked. Yeah. I have to turn it and. All right, give it a squeeze. It. Okay. Is give it a little squeeze, then take the pressure off and rotate the axle a couple of times. Right, and then squeeze right. it a few more times. Yeah, that's all. Easy lemon squeezy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's what this. How's it look? You can see now if I turn it. Right? It's uniform. Okay. Let's do it one more time. Yep. Yeah. All right. 
Three and a half tons. Beautiful. Then we'll go in the car, get out the decibel meter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear nothing. Uh, let's hope. Quiet. No rumble. Rumble. Well, I got all sorts of elixirs for there. Yeah. We got uh, standard gear oil. Right. They had one uh, quart of uh, Lucas gear oil, standard gear oil. Okay. Suppose it has a little something extra in it. Okay. Then I had the Lucas um, oil stuff, and it said you can add a little bit of that to differential, so pull that in there. Okay, and the ZDP. And I got a little bottle of that. No, oh, real Richard's blue. The Molly grease. Yeah, it's gonna be a real uh, elixir in there. Frankenstein mix there. Oh! What do I got, 3D here or what? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay, off to the car you go. I'm surprised it wasn't leaking. You're lucky. Yeah, for your brakes, you'd have to put another set of shoes on there. Oh, those rear brakes look beautiful. Thank goodness they weren't leaking. Look at this. Wow, hey. Yeah. How about the, this new one? How's that sound? Nothing. Nice. Okay, beautiful. That could be it. Yeah, yeah. This O-ring was in really good shape, too. Well, at least it wasn't leaking, huh? This well, didn't, didn't get oil of your new brakes. Yeah, lucky with that. All right, just put a little uh, oil on that uh, O-ring and it should be good. It should oh, sure. back and all that good stuff there. So that ends our 1962 Cadillac show. The car was put back together and there's still a slight rumble. So there might be uh, more exploratory work to be done. Stay tuned.